Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Adoria. So today I filmed this gorgeous cut crease for you guys. Like, let's just take a moment. It's super bomb. Like, I had so much fun creating this look. If you guys want to learn how I created this, just keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. So first I went in with my MAC Cosmetics Painterly Paint Pot and applied that all over my eyelids as a base. Then I set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I then used Anastasia Beverly Hills Caramel Eyeshadow and used that as my transition shade. You just want to blend, blend, blend. Then I went in with Sienna by Anastasia and applied that also into my crease. So basically right here you want to raise your eyebrow and really accentuate your eye to make this cut crease. So you're just going to apply the black where you kind of want your cut crease to show. And blend, 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 blend. Go back in with the black and blend, 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 blend. <laughs> Then I went back in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and used that shade to cut my crease to make it nice and sharp. You want your crease nice and snatched. Then to set the paint pot, I used Smarty Pants from the Tarla and Bloom palette. Then I went back in with the black eyeshadow just to really sharpen that cut crease a little bit. Then I used my Inglot eyeliner in color 77, extremely black, so creamy and beautiful, and used that as my eyeliner. I feel like this part really creates the look. It's very essential. Then to set the eyeliner, I used Activist from the same palette. After that, I used a MAC pigment in the color Melon as my eyelid color. You really want to pack that on. For my eyelashes, I used the Huda Beauty eyelashes in the style Samantha. I am going to really skim through this because I am going to come out with a full foundation routine. But the foundation that I used for this tutorial was the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. To highlight my face, I used the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Chestnut. Then to brighten that up, I just use the color Amand under my eyes because I like my eyes to kind of pop. Okay, to contour, I use the Lancome Tint Adult Foundation Stick. And to set that all in, I use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. One of my favorites of all time, my Mary Kay Mineral Loose Powder to set my contour. I cannot live without this. You see how happy I get when I use this product? Mm -hmm. 
Then to blend all those shades in, I went in with my MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. To complete the eye look, I went in with Sienna under my eyes, and I went in also with Noir just to, to darken it up. To blend the false eyelashes together, I used Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. <laughs> I also applied that for my bottom lashes. And of course, my MAC blush in the color Raisin. So my favorite part of all times, the glow. So I went in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. To line my lips, I used my lip liner from MAC in Chestnut. Then I went in with the NYX Liquid Suede in Brooklyn Thorn. And just in the inner part of my lips, I went in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Corset. So you could either keep this lip matte or you could put the gloss like how I did. So I went in with my Marc Jacobs Beauty High Shine Lip Gloss in Love Buzz. To finish off the look, I used my NYX Setting Spray in MAC. Thank you. 